Millions of people without power tonight in the lower 48 as crews from across the country help with the aftermath of Hurricane Milton. Alima Nordyke met with an Alaska Army National Guard Lieutenant Colonel and joins us now with how Alaskans are helping along the coast of the U.S. Joe, the Alaska Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Management sent personnel to Florida, Virginia, and North Carolina as more Alaska Army National Guardsmen and women are on their way to Florida tonight. I think any little bit helps from all the different states that are um, providing support to Florida. Alaskans are answering the call after Hurricane Milton killed at least eight people and left millions in the dark across coastal communities in the lower 48. 50 guardsmen are deploying to Florida from Alaska as waves of personnel continue to be sent to disaster areas over the weekend. They'll meet in Jacksonville and later be assigned to clear debris, mitigate flood damage, or help make sure supplies go to those who need them the most. Well, the way this process works is we are not responsible or in charge of our folks when we get when our troops, our National Guardsmen, get down to Florida. They are going to be uh, organized underneath the National Guard, the Florida National Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Christy Brewer says those who are helping from Alaska are part of an emergency management agreement between all 50 states. I think they're also excited to leave the state to go help other states in their time of need because we know that if we were to have our worst day, we would also be requesting other states' guardsmen to come help us. Um, our hearts are with uh, the, the families and our friends in Florida, and we hope that our troops can go down there and, and help them the best way they can.